Hello, darlings. This is Kenny the Messy Soaper over at Royal Appleberry. And um, I've gotten a few requests, especially since I bought my shrink wrap system. I've gotten quite a few requests for me to do, um, I guess, a tutorial video of how I use it. And I really didn't want to film it because I'm going to be honest. When I first got it, I was excited. I started using it. I grew very quickly to hate it. And then I'm madly in love with it now. <laughs> It's all about learning how to use it. So I know what you're looking at is not the shrink wrap system, but I figured since um, I was going to film that, I'll film this too because I've gotten requests of how I um, take photos. And I'm not a professional. I just do what works for me. So um, I'll even show you the camera that I use because I get lots of requests for that as well. So there's going to be a couple of things in this video. I'm going to try to keep it short. But anywho, what this is is just a banker's box. You see? There's a regular old banker's box, and I got it turned with the opening facing you, and I cut a hole in the top, and then I take my light and shine it down. So now you can um, get lighting lighting coming down, and then I have um, this umbrella light, which I move over here, and I sit it in front of it so you can get light facing, or off to the side. It just depends on how I want the light to bounce. Um, in on the inside, this is just some, um, what is this stuff called? Oh my gosh, I know the name of it so well. Foam, uh, craft, craft foam board. And then I just stick that in the back and I can change the background because I have a lot of these in many different colors. I can change the background to whatever color I want it to be. And then this right here is just like a press wood, like a fake press wood with a white coating on top. I got this for my job. I don't even know what it is. Somebody just came and said, hey, can you use this? I'm like, yep. So <laughs> I took it with me. Now what I do is basically just sit my soaps in here. And I mean, there's many other ways to do this. And the soap that you guys are seeing will be, um, I think this is gonna be in tomorrow's video. If not, then <laughs> you'll see it soon. But anywho, <laughs> so I sit them in here. Um, I haven't set it all up yet. Any uh, pictures that you see in my thumbnails if they're like you know a setup or all of them on my website are done like this or I'll just use um, either my table here or I'll use black fabric and then just kind of drape it put some clips to hang it up and then kind of have it draping inward um, I will get all that out but I don't want this video to be too long so anywho we're just gonna talk about this one so then what I do is I'm gonna show you exactly how I do I kind of get in close and then like you see seams and all of that stuff like in the background so I try to get in close enough where you can't see those seams or I'll position the soap where the seams are not as noticeable so if I was to really fill this up and put soaps back here you wouldn't even notice these seams and then that's how I take my pictures um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. I don't do anything fancy smancy. I'm not a professional photographer, not by the slightest. So next I'll show you what kind of camera I use. Um, I don't know what's the best angle, but anywho. Um, this is this camera that I've used ever since I first started filming on YouTube. I've never used anything different. One of my really good friends bought this for me for my birthday. So it's a Canon PowerShot and the brand, well, the serial number or the whatever i can't think today anyway it's early it's uh elph uh 115 is or elf uh 115 is and it has a 10 times zoom eight times zoom yeah eight times zoom which i really i mean it zooms pretty fucking far um when you're taking like long range shots and things like that and it's pretty clear but this is what i use for all of my films is kind of roady just because, you know, soap and all of that stuff. But uh, it has a display. I'll turn it on where you can see exactly what you're filming. So that's pretty much how it works. And then what I do is I hang it. Let me turn it off. I'm trying to film with one hand. So here's my gooseneck tripod. And I just got it affixed to um, my stand to my ring light which I got suspended in my ceiling by some, um, some 20, 22 gauge wire. Yeah. And I just, whenever I need to take this down, I just unhook it and put it back on a stand. But whenever I'm filming, this is pretty much what it looks like when I screw it on. I don't want to let it go because it's not screwed on. And then you get a top down shot. 
So that's pretty much my setup. There's nothing fancy to what I do. Like I said, I'm no professional here. Um, so now I'm going to take you over to my, um, over to my, my, my shrink wrap system. And I'll show you how I use that. All right, guys. So my camera's not wanting to focus. Okay. There we go. Also, um, I do want to talk a little bit more about my camera because I missed a couple of things. <laughs> um, if I don't plan things out, I'm just kind of all over the place, scatterbrain. But yeah, my camera, uh, this came from Walmart and it was like a hundred bucks at the time. That was four years ago. So you might be able to find it with, um, at an even better deal. And the quality of this camera is excellent and I've never had any problems with it. Uh, Hunter and I went to a concert a couple of years ago. A rock concert. For those of you who've been around for a very long time, you know that I love rock music. Uh, we went to see System of a Down, which is my all-time favorite band. And I kind of like thought that I was younger than I really am and got into my rocker phase and start, you know, banging it out. And my camera fell out of my pocket and hit the ground. So it kind of messed up the zoom on it, but um, the zoom still works. It's just you can't just like tap the zoom button, let it zoom in. It just kind of zooms in way too close and then way too far. So anywho, but yeah, it's a really, really good camera. Um, I think I'm going to have this. I, I'm pretty sure I have this camera for another five, 10 years. There's really no need for me to upgrade unless I want to start vlogging. And I did look into vlogging cameras, but, um, <laughs> no, <laughs> uh, when you're talking about the cameras that have the a viewfinder um that's dslr cameras you know they they're they're very expensive so we're gonna stick with what we got so anywho on to my um shrink wrap system and i hope that this camera angle is good for you to see so a lot of you guys saw my video where i had just got it like i said i didn't really want to come to you and fumble around and make the product look bad when it was just really user error so you just turn on the button the red lights on i don't know if you can see that there and then, um, I'll just give you a kind of quick overview. So here's the mat that comes with it. That was the one you just saw. Here's your, uh, I swear I'm like the queen of camera cutout <laughs> or battery dying. Um, so my camera was full. My memory card didn't know it. But anywho, like I was showing you. So this is the roll that comes with it. This is the stand. And this is the actual shrink film. And I really should not be pulling that with one hand. As you can see, I've messed things up. So let me set this camera down and fix that boo-boo. So, um, it kind of, the mat kind of acts like a static cling type of thing. Um, which is good because it keeps the film from moving all over the place. You know what I mean? So, again, I hope this is a good angle for you guys to see. My tripod is a little bit tall, so... Um, I want to keep it on the table and not on the floor because then it'd be in the way, but, um, yeah. So what I like to do is just kind of straighten everything out and then you're going to have like a little rough edge and well, at least I do, which is here. So what I like to do is just take my wand and take that off and is it really wasteful? No, I look at it like this. The time that I'm going to sit here and fiddle with it and try to get it straight. I could just take it off and it'll probably cost me about a penny if that. Okay, so press down and pull. Okay, and so um, living on a dime. Um, oh my gosh, I know her name. What is her name? Oh, honey, please forgive me. I know your name so well. I'm telling you, I'm just brain farting all over the place today. I'll insert it, but because I, I know her name. It's like round right tip of my tongue. But anywho, um, she went to the uh, uh, Handmade Soap Conference Guild, and she interviewed quite a few people. And she interviewed the creator of the shrink wrap system. And she got like a really, really good, um, a really, Tara, yes. I'm like, I know her name. <laughs> She got a really good interview with him and him explaining how to use this system and um, you get a video with this system too So it is helpful, but it's like I said, it was just your user error. It was just me So what my mom did was this surface. I don't know if you can see what I'm tapping on. This is an old uh, door And my mom put it on top of one of those folding tables It's not good to use a folding table because it doesn't seal well And that's kind of what I was using although I knew you shouldn't but I was using it anyway because I had nothing else And that's why it was not working so now that I have the proper uh, foundation to lay this on, this system works beautifully. Again, I really hope you guys can see what I'm doing. Um, yeah, I think you can. 
So what I'm doing, um, I just kind of inspect my soaps to make sure there aren't any little bits of uh, Tussa Silk because Tussa Silk flies around all the time. I'm constantly master batching and just make sure the soap looks good and clean. And then I stick it in here. You want to leave a space in between each one of your bars because you need um, space for your wand to press down. And um, the mistakes that I've made <laughs> while using this system was forgetting my labels and sealing it. <laughs> so um, I'm trying to figure out what's a better, maybe this is a better view. Hold on, I'm going to move you guys because I you're not going to be able to see once I get further down. Is that better? I can't see. I'm too sharp, man. I think this is a little bit better. So we're going to go with this one. And hopefully this angle is a lot better for you guys to see. So yes, don't forget to put your labels in before you start sewing. Yeah, I think that's good. Hopefully you won't be able to see my face because I look a mess, y'all. But anywho. So yeah, just uh, take your soaps, lay them in here. And you want to leave space in between when you do your next row. You want to leave some space in between here. Um, just about the space that I'm doing here it works best for me. And you're going to be able to move your soaps around with your wand um, when you're going to seal the next row. So just uh, watch what I am doing. <music> So now that I got my labels in, what I want to do now is grab my wand. And I like to stand up and use it. I can sit down and use it, but it's just more comfortable for me to stand up and use it. And make sure you guys can see. Yeah, you can see. So, um, you can only get three across. Um, I forget what length this is, the one that I have. But they do have three different sizes. So I don't put it all the way up to, let's see if you guys can see. I don't put it completely up to the bar. I leave a little space in between. And then you press down. You want to have your hand like right around where the light uh, source is at. Or the LED, should I say light source. It's not lighting up anything. Push down. And I like to hold for a few seconds and then pull apart. And then I, this is what I do. This is what I found that works best for me. I leave my wand on the actual shrink bag right here. And just kind of leave it there for like a second. So it doesn't shrink back on itself. And then I just kind of pull that out the way. And now, move you over. I take my wand and butt these up. To the top just like that and Ariane has a video probably way better than mine <laughs> um, Ariane uh, Lafitte de la Mer uh, you can check out her video um, if you I'm not explaining this well enough I think she did two videos so then again I just take it leave that space in between push down then here hold for a second like I said he didn't say do this this is just work what works best for me and then push these forward And my wand isn't long enough to chop all three bags uh, at the same time. Can you guys still see what I'm doing? Yeah, you can. Okay. Push down and then pull. Alright, so now that I have that done, see how easy that was? How fast that was? And it, it will be much faster if I wasn't even filming. So, what I do now is kind of take them and I'll do two at a time because my I don't think... Well, even if my wand is wide enough to do all three rolls, um, I always end up mucking it up. So I like to do two at a time. And then just take my wand here and stick it. Well, let move my shrink out of the way and move my soaps out of the way because trust, I've done it all. Any way you can possibly damage your soaps doing this, I've done it. So I like to line them up. Don't put them right up on top of each other or right next because they'll uh, get um, melted together. So I'll take the wand, put it in between, and then press down, pull, pull, done. Scooch again, just like you did before. Press down, pull, pull. And then for the last two that I got here, I just kind of grab those, take them like that, and then hold down. Now just pull the excess paper off, 
and this is all that's wasted <laughs> isn't that awesome i love my shrink wrap system i don't even know if you saw, guys saw the last part of what i did i can't see what i'm doing in the camera so now um i'll just bring this one in and most times i wait till i have another row um of soaps to do but for video's sake i'll just do this by itself so put that there push down my hand where it's supposed to be i don't know yeah okay i didn't wait as you can see what happens if you take it off too soon it will the bag will crinkle in on itself but yeah he did say put your hand closer to this and if you put it here it doesn't seem to shrink as well so always remember that see how easy that was now this last one and then we will begin to shrink the bags all right there you go so that's it you don't waste much of anything and it's very quick i mean you could do so many of these so quickly i just love how fast the system is all right so now let me get my gun and i already had a, sh a heat gun so i didn't get theirs so it just made it even cheaper so if you already had a heat gun you don't need to buy one uh they do have an option where you can take it out the basket which is great so this is going to be loud so i'll just fast forward it you don't need to hear all the noise Actually, it's not too loud so what I'm gonna do I'm just doing this one by itself why I don't know because that's not even the way that I do them I actually do them in stacks and he said the best way to do it and I he as in the owner I don't remember his name that's why I'm not using his name please forgive so um, sides first and uh, that kind of keeps the seams from moving all around. Hopefully you guys are still seeing what I'm doing here. But there's a method of what I found that works best for me. So this is how I shrink mine. I don't shrink them all the way down just because I don't. <laughs> and they will fill up with air pockets. So that's the reason why I don't shrink them all the way down. I'll just kind of let them sit and let some of the air deflate on its own. Kind of do the corners first and then the sides and then let it sit just like that. So now, as you can see, a lot of these are filled with air. You got little air pockets. Now what I'll do is start taking them one by one. Now that they're shrunken down like this. And don't hold your gun too close to it because it will burn a hole in it. That was my biggest challenge, not burning holes in this packaging. Um, and this one is polyolefin. Um, I believe that's the one I got. I don't remember all that stuff, but it's many different options. This one is, uh, it takes less heat to shrink. So that's why I got this one because I don't have time to be standing here all day waiting on this bag to shrink down. But in the same note, it will burn holes in it much easier and much faster. And like I said, I'm pretty sure there's other people that have done a video way better than mine. I'm just showing you guys how I do it. Because um, I know for a fact Ariane's video is way better than mine. <laughs> so. so yeah, this is what I do. And I'm not going to go through and shrink all of these on camera just because, I mean, it's kind of repetitive, you know what I mean? Alright, so you get the gist of how this is done. I do the sides, the tops, the bottoms, and then I'll do the front and back or back and front, however, whatever. And keep moving the gun fast because if you hold it in one spot, you are definitely going to burn a hole in your packaging. Again, I hope you guys were able to hear all of that. So this is pretty much how I use it and I love it. Um, it's just a learning curve. For sure, you have to figure out what works best for you, especially with your heat gun. Some are hotter than others. I have one of those little pencil heat guns. That thing, as soon as I turn it on, it burns a hole in everything. So I don't even use it. Brand new. 
but yeah so here's the finished product right here um and then like if i want to adjust my labels i just kind of take my fingernail kind of hard to do it upside down let me see i'll take my fingernail and kind of push it down just like that so that's where i want it <laughs> it's just that simple guys so hopefully this was very helpful for those of you who are considering buying the shrink wrap system this video is not sponsored i paid for this bad boy with my own monies um <laughs> they don't even know i'm doing this but i got a lot of requests to uh film a video of how i use it again i just want to be sure that i knew how to use it properly before i came on fumbling and made the company look bad so guys um if you did enjoy this video please be sure to give a thumbs up it is greatly appreciated um hit that bell if you haven't become a part of the Snake and Awesome crew already, which is also my SAC. <laughs> because my SAC members are freaking awesome. And hit the bell for notifications if you want to get notified whenever I post a new video. Enjoy your Saturday or whatever day it is for you, wherever you are. I see you guys tomorrow. Bye.